Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Drive Droid application for Android to make a bootable image file. This can be useful for a variety of purposes such as installing a new operating system on your PC or running a live Linux distribution. This app will only work on rooted Android phones as it required root access to work. What is DriveDroid? DriveDroid is an Android application that allows you to host ISO and image files on your phone and boot from them as if they were on a CD or USB drive. This is a great way to save space and have all of your bootable images in one place. But there is a limitation of DriveDroid application that it can only boot less than for gigabyte size of image. Following are key features of DriveDroid. DriveDroid enables booting directly from ISO or image files stored on the Android device, eliminating the need for physical CDs or DVDs. DriveDroid utilizes USB OTG on the go technology to connect the Android device to the computer, allowing for seamless data transfer and booting. DriveDroid supports a wide range of file systems including ISO 9660, UDF and TFS, EXFAT, and HFS+, ensuring compatibility with various operating system installation images. DriveDroid provides options to customize boot parameters, enabling users to fine-tune the booting process for specific needs. Live Linux distributions can be booted from the Android device using DriveDroid, providing a portable environment for testing or troubleshooting. DriveDroid can be used to create recovery disks for various operating systems, allowing for system restoration in case of failures. Custom ISO or image files, such as those containing diagnostic tools or bootable utilities, can be booted using DriveDroid. How to boot from the bootable image file? For this video, I will be booting into Gpart tool. After downloading the image file, host this file as CD-ROM. Now connect your phone with the help of a USB cable to your computer. Restart your computer and enter the BIOS or UEFI settings. If you have old BIOS, then change the boot order so that the USB drive is first. And if your PC or laptop has a new BIOS, then select the mobile device partition to boot into your desired OS. Your computer will now boot from the bootable image file. DriveDroid is a great way to make and use bootable IMG files on your Android device. I hope this video has shown you how to use the app. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.